if you want to add just a little bit of flair to your website and perhaps make it a little easier for your visitors to navigate, then one of the things you can do is use a really nice menu with images or icons. In this video, I'll show you how you can create gorgeous menus that include images or icons similar to the one shown here. Let's dive right in. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, this is your friendly reminder to go ahead and do that. So let's get started with building a menu with icons and images. For this tutorial, I'll be using Thrive Theme Builder, since typically the menu for your website is located in the header section, and the layout for the header section is governed by your WordPress theme. However, you can also create menus with images for your online course using Thrive Apprentice, and you can also insert menus with images on landing pages that don't use your regular WordPress theme. And for this, you can use Thrive Architect. So Thrive Theme Builder is our WordPress theme that allows you to build virtually any layout you want for your WordPress website. When you first install Thrive Theme Builder, you'll be taken through the site wizard to choose the overall layout for your website. And that's where we are now. Now, if you want to make further customizations, you'll need to visit the templates tab. So let's go there. So here you can see the templates for your active home page, various types of posts, your default pages, and more. What's important to know is that the default setting is that the header section for all of these templates is linked. So you can access your header from any of these templates. And when you make a change to your header, that change will be reflected on all of the other templates as well. Of course, you do have the ability to unlink a header for a specific template if needed. So let's go ahead and open the home page template. And if you click anywhere in the header, you can then go to the main options tab on the left and then click edit header. Now, one thing I should mention is that because we are using Thrive Theme Builder and I already set up my header through the site wizard, there's a custom menu element already in place here. If you're inserting a menu on a landing page, or if you want to add a second menu to your header, you can simply go to the add element button and then search for the custom menu element, and then simply click and drag that into place. Then you can choose what type of menu you want to build. I'll choose a standard drop-down menu. And then for my menu source, I'll choose create a custom menu. The custom menu option will allow you to build your entire menu in Thrive, so you don't have to hassle with using the WordPress menu interface. And next you can select a template. I want a horizontal menu, and then I'll simply choose a template that I like. So that is how to add a custom menu element to the page. I don't currently need both, so I'll go ahead and delete this one. All right, so let's start customizing. First things first, you'll need to customize your menu with the right text and links. So let's click on a menu item and then make sure that custom menu is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then in the main options tab, you'll go down to menu source. And if you have created any WordPress menus, you'll see them show up here. So to make edits to a WordPress menu, you will actually need to click this link here and that will open the WordPress menu editor. The other option is to create your menu in Thrive so that you don't have to use this WordPress menu interface at all. So let's go back to our page and under menu source, you'll need to select custom. And so with the custom option selected, you can scroll down and then your menu items will be listed at the bottom of the main options tab. So to edit item one, I'll click on the pencil icon and then I'll input the text that I want displayed. Under target URL, you can simply start typing the name of the page or post you want to link to and it should pop up. And then click apply. So just go ahead and set the text and links for the rest of your menu items. Next, it's important to know that these menu items are linked as indicated by the green lock icon when you click on individual items. So for example, if I select one menu item and then I change the color by going to the typography tab and then selecting a new color, you can see that it has affected all of the other menu items as well. 
If you want to customize one menu item by itself, you'll need to unlink it first by clicking on the lock icon. And when it turns red, then you'll know that the menu item is unlinked, and then you can go ahead and make your changes. Next, let's add icons to our menu. So click on a menu item, make sure that menu item is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to main options, and under display, you'll see that you have the following options. You have text only, icon only, icon and text, image only, or image and text. So let's go ahead and select icon and text. And you'll see that the star icon has been added to all of our menu items. To select a different icon for all of your menu items, click on the icon field. And then you have thousands of different icons to choose from. If you have a specific icon in mind, you can go ahead and search for it. And I'll go ahead and choose this icon design, and then I'll click select. Now you also have a variety of different placement options for your icon. You can also choose an icon color and an icon size. To select a different icon for each menu item, you will need to unlink it first. So for the first menu item, I will click on the green lock icon. It's red now, so I know that it's unlinked. And then I'll go to the main options tab. And then under icon, I'll simply click on that field, and then I can choose a new icon. So I'll repeat this for the remaining menu items. Next, I'd like to show you how to add images to your menu. So what I'm going to do is add images to my sub menu items, but you can absolutely use this method for the top level menu items if you wish. So I'll select one of these submenu items, make sure that menu item is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, and under main options, go to display, and then choose image and text. So then you'll see that there's an image icon next to each one of your menu items. Now these individual images are not linked, so there's no need to unlink before selecting an image, but the image options are linked in a way that makes sense. And so I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on one of the image icons, and then under main options, I'll click replace image. And I'll do that for my second menu option as well. Now, as I mentioned, image options are linked, even though the images themselves are not. So for example, what if you want these images to have rounded corners? So I will simply select one, and then I'll go down to borders and corners. And then I'll simply increase the radius for my corners. And you'll see that both of the images have changed. If you want the images to be a circle, simply keep increasing the corner radius pixels until you see that circle shape. All right, so when you're finished styling your menu, you'll need to click done to get out of the header editor. And then you can click save work to save your entire page. Next, let's make sure that the menu will look good on tablets and mobile devices. So let's click on the tablet button at the bottom of the screen to see what this will look like on a tablet. So the menu has been automatically collapsed into a hamburger icon. If you would rather display the actual menu instead, make sure that custom menu is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the main options tab. Then you can click the button to toggle the hamburger menu off or on. Now, if you choose to show the actual menu, you may need to make some adjustments to the layout. For now, I'll keep the hamburger menu enabled. So now let's take a look at some of the menu options just for the hamburger menu. So you can choose a different drop-down icon. You can also choose a different hamburger menu icon. For now, I'll choose the square one. You can also select a different icon color and a different icon size. And under menu state, here is where you can view what the actual menu will look like when it's open. And then you can choose how the menu will be displayed. So you can do an off screen on the right, you can do off screen on the left, you can do a drop down like we had, or you can do a full screen overlay. For now, I'll just choose a drop down menu. When you're finished making your customizations in tablet mode, you can then move on to mobile phone mode to make sure that your menu will look good on mobile phones as well. And that was how to create a menu with images and icons. In this tutorial, we were using Thrive Theme Builder, 
but you can also create menus with images for your online courses in Thrive Apprentice, and you can also do the same for landing pages when you use Thrive Architect. You can get all of our tools by purchasing Thrive Suite, so if you haven't purchased it yet, you can do so by visiting thrivethemes.com suite. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.